for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal, Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time, Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority, Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored, Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development, Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office, Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us begin this Holy Mass by acknowledging our sins and by asking God's forgiveness. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children sanctified by penance, and in your kindness grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments, otherwise you shall be instantly cast into the white hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out? of my hands Shadrach Meshach and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar there's no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter if our God whom we serve can save us from the white hot furnace and from your hands O King 
may He save us. But even if He will not, know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his novels, did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But he replied, I see four men unfettered and unhearth walking in the fire. And the fort looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Please stand. Mapalad ang nag-iingat sa kanyo sa matapat ng salitang nagpapahat sa buong Diyos ng liwanag sa tiyagay The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. 
I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this, but you were doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one Father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your Father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we heard a very famous line in our Gospel today. Jesus says, The truth will set you free. By saying this, Jesus makes a connection between truth and freedom. Jesus tells us, there is freedom in truth. May kalayaan sa katotohanan. And this is the experience of the three brothers as we heard in our first reading today. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to follow the king who ordered them to worship false gods. And because they disobeyed the orders of the king, they were punished. They were sent into the fire because they stood by the truth. And what happened? They were not hurt by the fire. What an experience of freedom. Dahil nanindigan sila sa katotohanan na hindi sila sasamba sa mga Diyos-Diyosan kahit sila'y dinala sa apoy para patayin, hindi sila na ano, hindi sila nasaktan Hindi sila nasunog man lamang, malaya sila sa katotohanan. My dear brothers and sisters, truth frees us. Lies enslave us. Ang katotohanan nagpapalaya ang kasinungalingan umaalipin sa atin. When we have many pretensions in life, when we live in lie, we are enslaved. We are never free. At sa isang punto ng ating buhay, naranasan na natin yan. Kung marami tayong pagpapanggap, Kung marami tayong itinatago sa ating sarili, kung marami tayong kasinungalingan 
at kung tayo'y nabubuhay sa kasinungalingan, ramdam na ramdam no na hindi ka malaya. Takot na takot kang ang mabisto. Takot na takot kang ang malaman na nagsisinungaling ka. Takot na takot kang mabunyag ang katotohanan. Kaya ingat na ingat ka sa kasinungalingan sa iyong buhay. Alipin ka, hindi ka malaya. Pero kapag tayo'y nabubuhay sa katotohanan, wala tayong dapat alalahanin. Wala tayong dapat ikatakot at wala tayong dapat ikahiya. Kaya nating tumingin sa mata ng ibang tao dahil alam natin tayo'y nasa katotohanan. And even if we are persecuted, even when we are ostracized, even when others would destroy our reputation because of our stance for the truth, we will never be afraid because we know the truth will set us free. Mga minamahal na kapatid, huwag na tayong mabuhay sa kasinungalingan. Maging malaya tayo sa katotohanan. Sino ba naman ang gustong maging alipin? Hindi pa ang gusto natin ay kalayaan. Kung gusto natin ang kalayaan, mabuhay sa katotohanan. Let us not be afraid of the truth. Because remember, even Jesus suffered and died for the truth. And so if we are followers of Jesus, we will also live by the truth. For remember, Jesus is the truth. Please stand. God is the limitless source of truth, freedom, and power. We are limited in mind, in spirit, and in body. Let us ask God to bring us and all persons to the fulfillment He intends for us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who seek the truth may have their minds open and freed from the, by the message of Jesus and His Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our devout practices this Lenten season may serve to see, free us from bondage to excessive self-concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That our involvement in the materialism of our day may not deter us in our quest for everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That the Lord may unbind the faithful departed and let them go free in the kingdom of His glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We now pray for our personal petitions. We pray for people who requested for our prayers. We pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Gracious Father, your Son died that people might know and live according to the truth. 
free us from our own narrow views and self-interest so that our minds and hearts may grow toward you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You, therefore, Almighty Father, be blessed through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, 
and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth, in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sin against us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, lies, and every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our weekly Wednesday evening Healing Rosary for the World Tonight at 9 o'clock, our host for this evening's rosary is the Our Lady of Mount Carmel Parish in Cebu City. Uh, this parish is under the Recoletos. And so let us join them in praying the Holy Rosary to ask our Blessed Mother for peace in the world and in our country and in our own homes. We also remind you that this coming Sunday is Palm Sunday and uh, the schedules of our Masses and confessions here at the Manila Cathedral for next week uh, could be found in our, on our Facebook page. So we invite you to visit, to like, follow and share the Manila Cathedral Facebook page so that you will be constantly updated regarding our schedules and activities. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Santa Maria, Reina Oh, 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 oh,